Now, I do a lot of running, and now I've started walking a lot to gear me up for the moonwalk this year. But what areas am I training in? Am I doing cardio, strength, or endurance? Uh, luckily, we have fitness expert Joanna Days on hand to help answer some of those questions. Hello, Joanna. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for letting me join you today. Thank you. Now, of course, it's January. We've all gone a bit fitness crazy after the uh, indulgence, Absolutely. haven't we? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the gyms are rammed, but basically you're here to talk to us about strength training. Can yes. you tell us what strength training is? Well, simply put, strength training requires that you move a resistance greater than the muscle is typically accustomed to moving, which is known as overloading the muscle. So this progressive resistance stimulates the muscle to stay strong and firm. Oh, I see. And how do you do that in your gym or if you're going out running? Uh, yeah. how, how do you actually do, take that on board? Well, there's several different ways. I mean, as many of your listeners are probably aware, they're used to strength training with weights or dumbbells. Um, at Curves, we use the hydraulic resistance machines, which are set up in a circuit and where we have classes. So it just depends on the need of the, of the consumer as to what would be suitable for them. Okay. Now, um, the minute you sort of put weights into a conversation, a few people will be going, oh, I don't know, I don't want to look like a muscle person. Absolutely. Um, does it give you that physique? Well, only if that's what you're targeting and aiming for. In fact, that's one of the reasons why many people shy away from strength training is because they don't want to get bulky uh, because that's what the bodybuilding is what they associate with it. But actually, um, muscle, let me get this right, muscle is smaller than fat. So as you develop more muscle, you develop a leaner physique, which is actually appealing to many people and, a, and kind of a focus at this time of year. I see. So you're not going to be turning into one of those uh, bodybuilder people that we see in those competitions or anything No, that's like not, that. not naturally going to happen. <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, with the strength um, training, yeah. does that then... Could you just do just strength training rather than anything else? No, it's very important that you have a balanced workout, uh, which would include cardio and flexibility. But the research that's been facilitated by Curves shows that nationally there is a huge lack of understanding about the health benefits of strength training. As a nation, we've become more educated uh, slowly on the benefits of cardio, but what's lagging behind is our understanding of the benefits of strength training. And that's really why we're, um, we're talking today. Okay, yeah, to be honest, I have not really heard about strength training before. So, um, you know, I mean, obviously we know about the weights and stuff, you know, about doing that, but we don't really know much about it being categorized as strength training, do we? No. Okay. Um, so, um, you know, you, so you do a bit of cardio, do a bit of strength. What would be the ratio in your week that you should try and do that? Well, it depends how you structure your program. And really, it would be important that you get professional advice on how to do that. But if you do uh, strength training for 30 minutes, um, three to four times a week, you would actually start to see a huge benefit. Now, there are some programs where, like at Curves, the strength training is part of a circuit whereby at the same time you're actually getting cardio uh, workout at the same time and then you would conclude with some stretching to make sure you get the flexibility. Oh, I did a body pump class on Monday for the first time. and well, I'm Congratulations. Still it. Now, actually, that was a bit of well weights done. and stuff. So, uh, yeah, and that was fun. You know, it was in a class and it was, yep. you know, the instructor was really up for it. So, uh, yeah, I really Guided learning that. with motivation. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I enjoyed And it was good because he was a guy as well. So he, he was well up Excellent. for it. Okay, so what tips would you give people who are trying to make their own workout program? You know, that they go to the, they, they stick to that kind of routine if they can. Well, the two words really is balance and then making sure you have the support. So you want a balanced program that includes the key components um, of exercise, which we mentioned cardio, flexibility, and strength training. And they get the education as to why they need to do um, the strength training so that they feel the motivation to stay with it. And then they get support from people to, um, prioritize their program once they have decided to do it okay now if you're a total beginner um you know you shouldn't maybe sh can you just do this as a total beginner you can certainly start strength training but just make sure you do it um, under advisement of a professional so that you don't um don't in any way hurt yourself okay okay brilliant well um yes let's the perfect bikini body begin um, wonderful <laughs> 
Wonderful. We've got a bit of time for that. We do. We? <laughs> we can set our goals. We can uh, focus on them, and we can we can get it done. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, where can we get more information about this from, Joanna? I'd strongly recommend the website www.curves. That's C-U-R-V-E-S. Dot eu lots of information on there um, about the benefits of strength training simple ways tips and strategies to get started and you can even probably do it with some baked beans at home can't oh, you? there you go <laughs> there i'm just chucking that in there okay thank you very much joanna for all your advice today and uh, let's uh, w- work for our perfect bikini bodies lovely talking <laughs> to you thank much. you take care then yep. bye-bye. bye-bye bye